So in this video, we'll be showing you guys how to bake a high resolution mesh to a low resolution in the individual parts. This will help you prevent artifacts where meshes details get baked onto neighboring mesh parts. As a fourth year game art and design students, this was commonly found issue, which is actually pretty voidable when you know the right steps involved. Some prior knowledge of Maya is expected to be able to smoothly follow these steps, such as understanding of retopology and general Maya functions, such as separating and renaming meshes. As you can see in the video here, we already retopologized model ready to go. If that's something you may be interested in seeing for yourself, let us know, we might pop a video showing how we did it. The first steps in the process is to separate the mesh into different parts from the single mesh. As you can see here, despite all of the individual pieces not being connected, it's still considered a single mesh, so we're going to separate it so each part is recognized separately. We are firstly going to go into face mode, then select the skull and then go into mesh menu and hit separate. Now you can see we have our mesh split from the main object into a separate mesh, and now we're going to give it a name which we'll name it as chest underscore skull underscore low. And now we just have to repeat this process for all the pieces and to continue to name them accordingly to what it is while making sure the naming convention is right. Repeat these steps for the high poly mesh and make sure the naming convention matches together by changing the underscore at the end from underscore low to underscore high. Just be careful with how your parts line up in the hierarchy if they have moved around. You can line them back up properly by clicking them with the middle mouse button and moving them. Once you have all of your mesh parts for both high and low meshes all separated and renamed correctly, similar to what we have here, we are ready to move on to export the mesh. We then make sure to select all of the low poly meshes and export it out by going through file, export. Make sure it is set up as an obj file and as you can see here we already have exported it out before, so we're just going to override it. Yours should just save normally though. Now do the same for the high poly mesh and just select all of the parts of the mesh. Repeat the steps we just did and make sure that it's still exported as an obj with underscore high at the end. Once you have substance open, we'll now import the mesh we've just exported. Go to file, new and then hit select. We will find our export a low mesh file, select it and then hit the open button. The next thing we want to set up is the texture resolution we want to work with and that can be set to different scales and sizes. But for our example, we'll use 2048. And then once it's all set up, hit OK and it should import your mesh into Substance and have it ready for baking. After the mesh is in, we need to head into the texture set settings and find the baked mesh maps. This will allow us to bake the details. What we want to do here is to set the created map size to the same texture resolution that we gave our mesh at the start. You can see it's currently set to 512, but we're changing ours to 2048. Then we want to head down to the high definition meshes and click the little page icon and find the high definition mesh that we have exported. The one with all the detail, select it and hit open. Scroll down a bit to the match tab and change it from always to by mesh name. This compares the mesh parts names we set out earlier and bakes the details individually, using the different names to match the low and the high parts up, preventing detail bleeding and artifacting. We'll also quickly untick ID as we're not using an ID map and we can just hit the bake button. Give it a few seconds and when it's done, click OK. Now you should be able to see that the details from the high poly mesh are now baked onto the low one as a normal map. The baking process also creates a bunch of other maps such as curvature, AO and position maps which enhance your model further and can give your model more versatility when texturing in substance. You can see just how powerful the baking process can be here as we turn on and off our normal map which just shows how much detail we managed to squeeze onto our low poly mesh through it. So in this video we covered how to split a mesh up in Maya using the separate tool and name it correctly for use in Substance Painter, export each mesh as an OBJ with all of its correctly named pieces included, bring the low definition one into Substance Painter with all the correct settings such as texture sizes etc, using the baking menu to set up our meshes to transfer the detail, making sure the texture sizes match and it bakes by mesh name. So guys, go through that a few times to get used to it, it will become second nature before too long. If you want to push on and learn how to edit the normals you just baked directly in Substance, check out our next video in our tutorial series by clicking the link on the screen.